Zendaya Insane Dating History Although Zendaya is currently dating her Spider-Man co-star Tom Holland, she has previously been romantically linked to actor Jacob Elordi and Trevor Jackson. Nonetheless, the actress keeps her dating life under wraps. Stay tuned for more on Zendaya's dating history. Odell Beckham Jr. Zendaya and the football player were romantically linked in 2016 after they were seen leaving a Grammys after party together. When asked if they were dating while out with the actress father Kazembe Ajamu Coleman, their protective father referred to their outing as an audition. Trevor Jackson After portraying Jackson's love interest in the 2013 music video Like We Grown, Zendaya's addressed romance rumors about her and Jackson. There's going to be those rumors, but he's my best friend in the whole world. She told Hip Hollywood at the musician's birthday party in 2014. I adore him to the moon and back, that's all there is to it. The grownish actor also addressed the dating rumors, saying, Every time we hear it, we laugh. I understand why people believe that because we're so close, but she's just a friend of mine. Three years later, Zendaya revealed to folk about a secret relationship she had from 2012 to 2016 referring to the man as her first love. She didn't name anyone, which led some fans to believe she was referring to Jackson. Jacob Elordi After playing high school rivals on the HBO series Euphoria, which filmed in 2018, the Euphoria co-stars were first romantically linked in August 2019. The couple was seen vacationing in Athens, Greece, and an eyewitness told us. They looked like they were getting a little cozy. Three months later, the couple spent Thanksgiving in Australia with Elordi's family. In December 2019, the Kissing Booth star was coy about their relationship, telling GQ Australia that Zendaya was like my sister. Us revealed two months earlier that the couple was dating after Elordi was seen kissing Zendaya on the lips in New York City. They were seen together for the last time in March 2020. Tom Holland after years of speculations, the Greatest Showman actress appeared to confirm her romance with Tom on July 1st, when the two were photographed kissing in his car while stopped at the red light in Los Angeles. Following that, the pair began posting photos of each other to their respective Instagram accounts, with Tom referring to her as my MJ and Zendaya referring to him as my Spider-Man in separate posts. The co-star first became romantically involved in 2017, but they both stated at the same time that their relationship was strictly platonic. He's a fantastic guy. In 2017, the Euphoria actress told Variety, He's literally one of my best friends. I can't tell you how many months we have had to do press tours together. There will be very few people who understand what it's like to be 20 years old. Kia Ko, Zendaya's friend Sky Jackson's mother, raised eyebrows in 2018 when she said the Dune actress and Cherry actor were on the low for a while while commenting on a Just Jared Instagram post. However, in a friendly social media post shortly after, Tom referred to Zendaya as his mate. Having said that, the Avenger Endgame's actor holds high regard for Zendaya, naming her and Robert Downey Jr. as his top two acting mentors. She was so helpful in the process of my life changing, because not only are you making big films and traveling the world, but everyone starts to know who you are. The Uncharted actors told backstage in February 2021 about the California native. You must also change your behavior. You have a responsibility to uphold the concept of being a role model for young children, and she's arguably the best at it. You can really find anything negative to say about Zendaya. She's almost the perfect person. It's not surprising that Zendaya kept her romance with Tom under wraps for a while, given that she previously admitted to having a secret boyfriend for four years. What is her advice for breaking up with a former flame? Let's move on. I got rid of old text messages, pictures, and their clothing that I still had. She went on to say, You don't keep old band-aids. Put that in the garbage. You must get rid of everything related to them. It's best to delete their phone numbers. If you can't let go, at the very least, change the title of their name in your phone. That's all we've got for now. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Please show us some love by liking and sharing the video with your friends and family. To receive updates on our new videos, turn on the notification button. That was all we had time for today. For the time being, I'll bid you farewell and hope to see you in the next video.